Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 4th, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. I have not forgotten to do that last reading uh, for July yet. I have not forgotten, and then I'll start again. I'll start over again. I have not forgotten. I don't ever forget. Everybody gets done when the time is right. So, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Page of Wands. Now, Page of Wands is typically good news. It's an offer or an invite or something bursting into your world. Um, this is a new direction. This is exciting. We have an exciting opportunity here or an offer or an invite. Um, new suitor could be a new suitor knight of cups reversed knight of cups reversed it's typically somebody that sweeps you off your feet and drops you pretty fast you know Somebody that is very, this is like a seducer, the Knight of Cups reversed. It's somebody that, you know, love, that's like love bombing. And it's right next to the Page of Wands. So there is, there could be some love bombing or something like that. Knight of Cups could in reverse is somebody that is kind of like love them and leave them kind of thing. May have a troublemaker here, somebody that is childish, that acts childish that is looking for something passionate, but they're not really looking for a relationship. But the Knight of Wands is, or the Page of Wands is an exciting opportunity. This is exciting, but I'm not sure there's much staying power with the Knight of Cups reversed. This is like a withdrawn invitation with the Knight of Cups reverse or a cancellation of some sort. This could also be unpredictable, you know. Okay, so we got two that fell out. Two of Wands reverse, Six of Wands reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is a change. It is a positive change, moving in a new direction. Two of Wands reverse next to the Six of Wands reversed no victory, no success, no progress, right next to the Knight of Cups reverse. I feel, like, I feel like we have somebody here that is communicating with somebody that is emotionally immature, that doesn't uh, really have any staying power. The Six of Wands reverse next to the Knight of Cups reverse. That's no staying power. This is a lack of victory, a lack of success, um, giving up, uh, a no no uh, quitting. There could be somebody that here that is quits, you know, when the going gets rough. We have the Two of Wands reversed is stuck in the past, uh, at a crossroads, can't make a decision, uh, indecisive about a relationship. It's like there's a new exciting opportunity here, but there's some sort of indecisiveness, stuck, fighting, um, battling still still in the middle of the battling with something battling maybe with being in a relationship or battling with a commitment um wheel of fortune is a change it is a positive change going in a new direction it's good luck it is a, it's a good time for a change we may have somebody here that is in a relationship where there's no growth they have a passionate opportunity with the page of of wands this is an exciting as an offer or an invite somebody's receiving an offer or an invite from somebody that is very well suited for them or they have their eye on somebody that is very well suited for them but they may be Torn with the two of wands. There's two obviously two options. You can move forward or you can stay stuck in the past. Somebody is, is maybe fighting their emotions. They're fighting their feelings with the six of wands reverse next to the knight of cups reverse. That's like fighting feelings, battling, battling feelings, um, torn at that crossroads, indecisive, stuck. But in the future, we have the wheel of fortune. So there's going to be some sort of positive change. Oh, page of cups on the bottom. That is um, 
a crush, an admirer, expressing feelings, following the heart. Um, an offer is definitely coming that is going to make you happy. There could be news of a child or whatever. There is some good news that is coming. There is. But with that Knight of Cups reverse, there's, there's somebody here that... Um, is having a hard time with a relationship, you know? No progress being made. There's no progress being made because we have somebody here that is stuck. Maybe they're stuck in, what are they, why are they stuck? We definitely have a one hit wonder here. Six of Wands reverse. This is somebody that is very smug and very cocky and sits on a high horse that doesn't admit their feelings or doesn't, you know, just likes to be the center of attention. We have somebody here that likes to be the center of attention. <clears throat> And maybe they've been playing, you know, they've been playing. They've been in a state where they just wanted to play. They didn't want a relationship. They liked all the competition. They liked all the recognition they were getting from people. But after that, Six of Wands reverses the Wheel of Fortune. So that's a positive change. So I wonder if we have somebody here that didn't really want a commitment, didn't really want a relationship. You know, they wanted attention. They wanted, you know, because before the Six of Wands is the Five of Wands, which is competition. They want to play games. You know, it's a player, you know. We may have somebody here that was a player that was playing games. They have to make a decision, you know. If they want to be doing, you know, get into a relationship or a commitment, they can't play anymore. There's no more games. You're done playing games. Um, but the Page of Cups, the Page of Cups is a welcome message. So there is a, definitely a message that is coming. I feel like it is a positive message. Somebody may have made a choice in regards to a relationship. King of Swords. The King of Swords is very decisive, very authoritative, challenging, you know, challenging information, thinking a lot. This is a thinker, somebody that is making an informed decision. It's obviously not an easy decision. So I believe there is some information that is coming. Somebody has been withholding. Maybe they've been withholding. Um, why have they been withholding? Because this is a tough decision. It is a very tough decision. There's discernment. You know, this is needing to be logical and being logical about doing the right thing, you know. Acting with integrity. Making a, a thoughtful decision. Somebody's made it. They've been thinking a lot. They want to make the, the best decision about their future. You know, this is stability, long-term stability financial success, permanent success. And that's not an easy decision. So somebody has been stuck. They've been at the crossroads. I feel like the decision is being made. The decision has been made. They're moving in a new direction with that wheel of fortune. That's positive. That's a, that's a wheel of fate spinning somebody in a new direction. Um, be prepared to receive a message. It's probably unpredictable. Somebody was playing. I feel like they were playing some sort of game. Um, something about the home as well with this Ten of Pentacles, the home and comfort and making a decision in regards to their future financial success as well 
in, in stability, you know, where, they, where they're going to be most comfortable. Somebody's going to receive some good news or they're going to make an offer to somebody that leads to success. They've been in an unsuccessful situation or an unsuccessful relationship where they have been trapped or they have been stuck. Now the decision is being made to go in a new direction. This is a very positive new direction. This leads to permanent success. There's been no success. That's why the Six of Wands in reverse is here. That's no success. It's no victory. Fighting for no reason. Somebody's been in a situation where there's been a lot, probably a lot of games and a lot of competition. What is this Knight of Cups reverse? Five of Pentacles. So Five of Pentacles. I was clarifying the Knight of Cups reverse. Five of Pentacles is abandonment, being left out in the cold, being neglected. Somebody was in a relationship or they're in a relationship where they're being neglected and they're suffering. They're suffering in many ways. They need help. They, they're looking for something more. We definitely have somebody here that is looking for something more. They've had to beg for attention. And that's why this is, it's interesting that I said needed attention. Some, I can't remember what I said now, but something about needs attention. And this is like needs attention. We have somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, that needs attention. Ace of Wands and reversed on the bottom that is going south, not coming to fruition, no excitement, no growth, a lack of passion. Somebody is in a passionless situation where there is no growth, where there's um, no excitement, right? Mm. Eight of Cups saying goodbye, that is... Uh, Walking away from something where there's emotional lack of emotional fulfillment, put it that way. We have somebody here that is not um, not happy at all. Not happy at all with the Eight of Cups. That is disappointment. We have somebody here that is disappointed that is leaving. They're leaving a situation. And they're headed, you know, what comes after the nine, Eight of Cups is the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment, which is happiness. So we, once somebody leaves behind the emotional dysfunction or whatever it is, you know, the emotional loss, they head towards the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment and extreme bliss. This is happiness, new beginning, new day. This is a breakthrough. This is seeing the light. This is a bright new day. Headed towards happiness. And this, the Eight of Cups is looking at the Wheel of Fortune. So this is positive change. This is the one chapter that is ending, a new chapter that is beginning. It's the end of a cycle moving towards happiness. Walking right into happiness. I'm telling you what, that's exactly what it is too. Somebody is making a very tough decision. They have been fighting their feelings, fighting their emotions, playing with somebody that hasn't been giving them the attention that they need. Mm. 
But we have, the, this is a new day. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. It is. Big, bright opportunity for happiness. Good news. Very positive change. This is very, very positive. This is yes. Yes. So a decision. It's something to do with children here as well. I feel like we have some children that are in a situation where they're not being taken care of. I don't know if there's a protector here that is, is coming to, you know, help them. Just saying. Um, we definitely have somebody that is, is, is taking charge that ha has done some sort of investigation. They've been investigating. They've been watching. They've been um, making a decision for some time. There's been some sort of delay. I feel like the delay is over. Or it's just about over. Somebody's about to get some news. It's unexpected news. This is positive news. This is the help that we've been talking about. Somebody's about to receive some sort of help. We definitely have somebody here that has been fighting their their feelings, fighting their emotions, and they've been really, really, really unhappy with that Eight of Cups, and they're saying goodbye to that unhappiness, and they are, I mean, it goes like this. <clears throat> you know, looking right at that Wheel of Fortune, that is, that is a change, that is a positive change. Somebody is walking right into their destiny, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is destined. This is destiny. It's meant to be. They're, they're headed towards their destined path, whatever it is. But it will require saying goodbye because that is goodbye. It is. It's goodbye. The choice has been made. There was confusion. There was illusion. There was reminiscing about the past. There was thinking about all the memories. There was abandonment. There was discontent. There was third party. There's, it's just been a mess. This is goodbye. It was fun at the beginning, but... You know, it's, t it's over. When it's over, it's over. The Wheel of Fortune is a change. It is a very, very positive change, right? This is The Wheel of Fortune is life always changing. So there is a positive. Somebody is headed right towards whatever it is that they're destined. It's their destiny. They're headed towards their destiny. This is unpredictable. It is definitely unpredictable. It's it's the right time. It's the, something about the timing. All is not as it seems. Somebody has been fearful. They have been scared. Maybe they were scared of their feelings or they were scared of, of uh, not making the right decision, you know. Somebody's about to receive some sort of information or news that, I don't know, somebody has left, you know, they've left, you know, somebody has left, that's, you know, I don't know. Um, ah, that is leaving. That is absolutely leaving. Six of Swords, that is moving on. I mean, it just clarified what I said. The Six of Swords is leaving, you know, a hostile situation before it is the Five of Swords. Leaving the battle. I'm done fighting. I'm, and I can see fighting here. So I wonder if somebody got in a fight with somebody, you know, in the last couple of days, you know, last two days or something, like maybe even the last two hours. <clears throat> Because the Six of Wands reversed is fighting you know, right in the middle of a battle. It's like constant battle. You know, maybe it is time to walk away. Who wants to live a life of fighting? I don't. That's for damn sure. Anyhow, moving on. Six of Swords. Moving to a better place. Uh, taking a journey. Leaving the trouble behind. 
going to a better place, definitely. Now that's Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. That is definitely traveling in a new direction. Somebody is traveling in a new direction. I think it's very spur of the moment with the Two of Wands reverse. This is a sudden decision. We have somebody here that just start, maybe they just give up. It's like, you know, I don't care if I win anymore. I don't want to win. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. And if that means that I got to leave, then I got to leave. And I got to, you know, and I think there's another, obviously with the two of wands, there's another, there's always two options. You can stay or you can, you can stay or you can go. I feel like the decision, this is a tough decision. The decision has been made. Moving, moving towards you know, peace and harmony, taking that journey, done being abandoned, done being neglected. It's a painful, stressful decision. So I think we have somebody here that is making a strain, a painful, stressful decision to, to go someplace. It definitely hurts with the Three of Swords. This is this is uh, pain. It's heartache. It's it hurts. This hurts. Somebody's gonna receive some news that somebody has left. They've left the building, or they've left the situation, or they they're leaving a situation. They've moved on. You know, they whether they're or they're moving on. It's actually good news. I mean, and I know some people don't get that, but it is. When people remove themselves from a situation where there's discontent and there's heartache and there's fighting and there's suffering, they are love. It's self-love, right? It's self-love. They, you got to do what's best for you. If you don't put yourself first, nobody else is going to. The only person that can make you happy is you. This is about happiness. So I think that there is a decision that is being made in regards to happiness. It's time to go with the Eight of Cups. There's been so much illusion and confusion and, you know, lack. With the Five of Pentacles is mirroring the Eight of Cups. That's lack. going to a better place and that's it that's it that's it okay somebody is going to a better place they are all done fighting and i think it starts from a fight middle card is a six of wands that's right in the middle of a battle it is Somebody may have gotten themselves into a relationship with an individual that doesn't really want commitment. You know, Knight of Cups reverse, you know, get yourself into a relationship with somebody that just wants to play, wants to play games, wants to play head games, you know, doesn't really want commitment, just wants constant attention, wants to still play with all the competition, you know, but I feel like there's definitely an ending here with the town, with the Wheel of Fortune that is the end of a cycle. There's some sort of emotional turmoil here, but I feel like that it's ending because uh, somebody's traveling. It's like they're getting, they're leaving, they're leaving, they're leaving. The Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords is leaving, right? Headed towards something very, very positive. Queen of Swords reversed. The Queen of Swords reversed is harsh, okay? She's harsh, but she also has a very big heart in reverse. So some it's Six of Swords headed towards the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse is, has a big heart. So somebody is headed towards this Queen of Swords that in reverse. I don't know. We could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I feel like that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is the one that hasn't been giving love freely. This person may have loved bombed in the beginning. This is a love bomber, somebody that expresses love, gets the person, you know, 
tells them forever a thousand times and doesn't mean it. That cycle's over. This is an individual that likes to fight, that likes this, that's your one hit wonder that I was talking about. I feel like that it's a water sign type of energy. You know, if it's not a water sign, somebody that has water in their chart with that Knight of Cups, it's somebody that is very fluid that, you know, this is the person that sweeps you off your feet and drops you like a hot potato. When the going gets rough, can't face reality, victim mentality has rose-tinted glasses, the Knight of Cups reverse. This is somebody that uh, withdraws themselves emotionally once they get the power, you know, once they gotcha. They abandon you, they neglect you, they ghost you, you know, they leave you out in the cold. I feel like this is an emotional outburst as well. I feel like we have somebody here that is going to have an emotional outburst. They don't get their way, which causes some sort of sudden departure. Anyhow, I do believe that, and it's not love, the Knight of Cups reverse. It's not love. You, love bombing is one thing, but if it's not, and they may say forever, but they didn't mean it. If they don't really want commitment, it's not forever, right? This is somebody that is a people pleaser that tells them whatever they want to hear, speaks fluent love, but words are a hell of a lot different than action. So anyway, I think there is a decision that is being made to walk away from an individual that is emotionally unavailable. This person likes to fight. This person loved bombed in the beginning. You know, oh, this I love you. We're going to be together forever. I want to marry you. You're the one. You're the only one I want. Well, the next day or later on, later on in the night, they're texting somebody else. Or they're on Facebook adding a bunch of people the opposite sex. You know? They're still looking. Always looking for another lover. Anyhow, Queen of Swords reverse. We have somebody here that is headed towards this Queen of Swords reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse has a really big heart, but she has been hurt very, very, very badly, so she has her guard up. We have definitely have soulmate connection here as well. With the, with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, it doesn't matter what signs you are. We have two people that are very well suited for each other. They have a lot in common. They have shared values. And I feel like there's been some ignoring the connection. It's like ignoring it because of the two of wands reversed. Fighting feelings. But we do have a positive change in direction. Somebody's going to receive an, some good news that really makes them happy with that sun card. This is a breakthrough. This is a yes. Or it's good news, whatever it is. And I do feel like there's somebody here that um, is angry. They're angry or they're upset or they're, in a, they're not in a good place. They've been taken advantage of. I think we have an individual that is extremely ir egotistical. This is like a tyrant that likes to be in control, that likes to c control others, that has a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure, they, that uh, has stayed in a commitment just because they were hoping that this person was going to commit. There's no commitment here. This is relationship problems. We have somebody here that is, there could be a breakup, a separation, no commitment. This is lack of forget, commitment, faith, lack of faith. We have somebody here that is being controlled by another person.
they're not really committed and i think there's going to be a fight over the whole situation which is going to cause some sort of departure i'm not sure exactly how this could be a, the end of a marriage the end of a commitment that really wasn't good luck